Today, I'm going to be installing a set of Celica GTS pedals into my 2005 Corolla XRS. Here are the pedals right here. Got a dead pedal, clutch, brake, and gas. And they're going to be replacing these boring looking pedals here. So the dead pedal is going to be a little bit of an issue, but I'll get to that when we work with the dead pedal. So all that holds the clutch and brake is just, it's just plastic or rubber. So the old ones just peel right off and then these will just slide back in. These are a little tricky to install just because these don't flex so much. So in order to help, I've got some Vaseline and I'm just gonna put it right around the, uh, the rubber edges and on the pedal when we go to put this back in. And that's pretty much it. So let's get to installing these. and it is just that easy. They just peel off. It would help a little bit if it were warmer, so this rubber would be softer. It's uh, it's about freezing temperature right now, but oh well. Oh yeah, that's gonna look so much better. Let's see if I can get this in place just by stepping on it. I wanna see if I can use a screwdriver here to just help this bottom seal down here get into position. And the pedal is officially on. It took a little bit of trial and error. I'll record my entire process when I do the brake, since it's the same. Pretty much the way I got it to go the rest of the way was to just take this little clamp and just gently pull it like this. So I'll show you what I mean on that side. I gotta clean all this petroleum jelly off of this pedal, but that's how it's gonna look. So now we're gonna do the brake pedal, since it's the same process, then we're gonna tackle the gas pedal. So for the brake pedal here, because the rod is on the left side. I'm gonna grab from this right side here and just peel back. There we go. Once you get this past the corner, then you can just go ahead and peel it the rest of the way off and it'll be real easy, just like that. Now I'm gonna lube it up again. You don't need to do the entire pedal. You really just need to do the edges I mean, if you don't want to grease up the pedal, that's fine. Just know that it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to install because there's more friction. So when the pedal goes in, it slips underneath the rubber here. So really the main places you wanna grease up are the edges here where the pedal is gonna make contact. Never a bad thing to be generous with the lube. Just have to do a little bit more cleanup when you're done. The big thing when installing these two is also have patience. It'll get there. You just have to figure out the best way on maneuvering this cover onto the pedal. Now I'm gonna use a screwdriver here to slip this corner onto here, and then this corner should just come together. Ooh, too much force, and the whole thing has come off. So it wasn't as secure as I thought, that's why it came off. So I'm just gonna have to try it again. This time, gonna hold it in place and now I've got these two corners and this corner to go over so now I'm gonna use my little tool here to see if I can just convince this last corner here to go through there we go so I wasn't careful enough and I got impatient so I have a small, small uh, finish damage right here on the bottom. And that's a good reason why you should be patient with this. Or at least if you're gonna do something like this, have something to protect the pedal there. So that's my mistake. But luckily enough, it's not super noticeable. And considering that the pedals are already used, it doesn't really stand out. 
So the easiest pedals are now done. Now we're gonna go into the gas pedal. We also no longer need the Vaseline, so let's get this out of here. So the gas pedal is held onto the rod by a pin here. The pin goes into the hole and keeps it locked in the, in the pedal. Honestly, I just wish they made it a cover like these, but oh well. In order to be able to knock this pin out, I'm gonna have to remove the gas pedal and work on it outside of the car where I can use a hammer and a punch to push this through. Gas pedal is held in by two 10 millimeter bolts, which are just gonna be removed and then the pedal will just pop out. Ooh, that is a big problem. Yep, it broke. So I'm gonna have to be real careful taking out this other bolt because otherwise this could be pretty problematic trying to uh, reinstall. Old cars are like that sometimes, so just gotta deal with it. So the gas pedal, I've tried the other bolt and it feels a similar way um, to how this one does, which means that I think if I were to try and remove it, it would snap. I don't know why this has snapped and why it has uh, that kind of power or tension for just a gas pedal and it's not rusted. But for now, I'm gonna leave this pedal and work on this last. And now we're gonna move to the dead pedal, which should just pop out. So here's the issue with the dead pedal. This is the width of the Corolla one, and this is the width of the Celica one. They are different. So by looking at this, it does look like these two clips are in the same place as on the Corolla one. We compare them side by side. It looks like they are in generally the same spot. So I think if I could take these clips out, attach them first, and then these just attach to some threads down there. And I think I could be able to install this without having to cut it. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a shot because I'm really curious. And there it is. Check that out. An unmodified, uncut Celica GTS dead pedal will fit into a Corolla. The only problem with it is that there is this gap down here. So just be mindful that dirt and other stuff can go in from here. So at this point, you can choose. You can either install the Celica dead pedal just on its own, or you can trim and cut the dead pedal to fit onto this Corolla one. But there you have it. It is possible for this to fit. And just so you see that this isn't fake, it will come off much more easily. But it will fit on there. I really wanted to try this because I saw both Tuzlo and Antbanks and they both cut the Celica pedal to fit onto the Corolla one. Me having the kind of mind that I do, I wanted to see if it was possible for this to fit. And it is possible, but the fitment isn't going to be perfect. Okay, I thought that was gonna take a lot longer than it did. So, uh, whoops. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go onto the gas pedal now and see if I'm able to, uh, to fix that because I don't want to take that bolt out. So I'm gonna see if there's another way I can pull the gas pedal out or if I can just work on that gas pedal without having to remove it. So for my first little brainstorming session, I'm not gonna record. I'm just gonna see what I can do here. And then when I figure out a way I can remove this, then I'll start recording again. So I have the pedal removed now. I'll show you guys how I did it uh, when I go to reinstall the pedal. 
If you've watched my channel for a little bit, then you know that I don't usually like using tools for their intended purpose. So I'm gonna be using this, what is this? Six star, six point star bit for, uh, for a drill, I think, as a punch to punch out this pin holding the pedal in. I had to go off camera for a little bit to use more of my superhuman strength. But the pin is now out. So once you remove the pin, then the pedal just slides out. Just, just slides out, there we go. Now new pedal just slides in, just like that. Align the hole. So I'm gonna ask for a little bit of help from my star bit buddy here. See if I can open this hole up just a little bit more to let that pin go through a bit easier. There we go. So the way that I removed the pedal, rather than unbolting it, was to remove the C-pin that holds this rod into the rest of the assembly. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just this, so instead of taking out the bolts, I just took out this uh, this little C-clamp here. And that is how I was able to remove it. Because this is a drive-by cable car, the cable attaches here. Pretty simple to install. Uh, electronic throttle is a little bit easier just because uh, it's just a plug rather than the uh, cable up here. And the pedal is fully installed. Because of how small this space is, it's pretty much impossible for me to actually record myself putting everything back together just because my arms and my hands and my big head is gonna be blocking the way. But since I'm not working on the car now, I can actually show you what I'm talking about. So, because my bolt broke, as you can see there, right there, that's where the bolt used to be. Instead, I went for, if you can see my shadow, that C-clip right there. It's on that side, and I popped that off and then just pulled the whole pedal assembly out from that bracket. Then up here, that's where the cable connects to the throttle. There's uh, a small clip behind it. You just have to uh, pop that piece off and then move it out of there. And then the whole pedal will just come off. And that is the Celica GTS pedal install in a Corolla XRS. You can also do this in any other Corolla, at least 9th gen. I don't know about 10th gen, but I wouldn't be surprised if 10th gens have the same pedals. The only difference is going to be this dead pedal here. They are much, much better looking than the boring old black pedals here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these, but I mean, come on, they're just a little boring. So, uh, goodbye. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. Even with the difficulties that I experienced with uh, this whole install, this only took me about an hour and a bit, so not bad at all. So if you want to spice up the look of your Corolla a little bit, make it look a bit more sporty with these uh, sporty looking aluminum finished pedals, then uh, that is pretty much the gist of how to install these. I am very, very glad that I did this. I love the way these look. These look pretty similar to the pedals in my WRX right over there, the one with the big wing. I am considering installing these in my blue Corolla uh, because that one's an automatic and this one's a manual. Let me know if you wanna see another video for installing these pedals uh, with an automatic rather than a manual and I'll make that video happen. So that is it for this Celica GTS pedal install. No cutting, no drilling, no none of that, just straight bolt in. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below what you thought. If you're new to the channel, a subscription would be greatly appreciated, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!